welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. We have a better special guest with us today. It's me, Mr. X, back in the uh, Crazy Town headquarters. Yeah, we're sleeping on the couch eating my pancakes. Dang yeah. right. Jo- uh, Mr. X, did your penis get bigger since the last <laughs> time I saw you? It's crazy. You know, it, it's like, it's a little warmer today than it was the, the okay. other day. All right. Yeah. I just wanted to let everybody know is that it looks like... Uh, when it rains, it pours in the penis size wow. department yeah, over guy, here. D guy, huh? He's a big. He's a guy. he is. He's the he's the dick guy. <laughs> wow. I'm not. <laughs> Good deal. Holy jeez. I mean, how could you not miss? It's massive. I, I you know, it. ever since we started doing this podcast, yeah. like in the nude, I didn't realize y'all did it this way, <laughs> but. Like this was this this is new to me, but uh, I'm getting I'm getting okay with it. I'm getting okay. Yeah, with I'm it. glad yeah. it helps yeah. get your creative we're just, juices we're just flowing. Friends we, hanging out, dude. We, I don't know. Literally what you're talking hanging about. out. We should probably close the blinds though, because there's kids playing out there. <laughs> nah, you. What happens on is you leave the lights on after dark and leave the blinds open so everyone can see right in. You know how that yeah, how that works. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, that's there a good idea. Go. Actually, let me fix your crotch cam. Oh, there, yeah, we, yeah, there we, we go. There well, thank, we go. Thank you for noticing, yeah, yeah, TNT. Little, I appreciate it. Angled. Anyway, Jones, what are we talking about? Today? All right. So, as you see on the screen, if you're watching on our YouTube channel, uh, there was a lot of cops called to the mall in Miami. A lot. Holy shit. That's I didn't a realize lot. there was Bro, that. It's, it was, that's, it's not that's a joke. all the cops. Something fucking went up down so they this said is what you need to there understand. was juveniles causing a ruckus at the mall it's and been- and they said they were throwing fireworks so they so they got a report of like gunshots or something so yeah. i could see if they said gunshots like the they send out the infantry uh, the in- <laughs> in- infantry <laughs> infantry jesus yeah. uh but this is like a hundred cops all right, so this this incident has been blamed on uh, kids throwing fireworks. It's also been b- blamed on a fight that apparently did not happen at the uh, at the same time as this event, but maybe like later on or even prior in the night. Are you guys familiar with this at all? I am not, but I'm the not. first thing I have to say is e- they said it was like eight to ten kids. Yeah, I think I think eight cops at cars at most could handle that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't this, send 80 cop cars for... This, I mean, this looks like... I don't know how many cops they had on duty. This looks like the guys on duty like parked their car, went back and got another car. This and is, they brought another cop car over here. Yeah, that's this a, is everybody on the force. That's all the cars Miami has. It's got to be. This is literally calling all cars. Yeah, go to the Crazy Town Media YouTube channel and so, look at this video. So yeah. if, you're not, if you're not familiar with this story, apparently there was a Miami mall. A bunch of people were there. I've seen only like one video and it's very hard to take any of these people seriously because yeah. obviously we can't vet the sources. But I saw one video where the guy says is that he was walking with his girlfriend. He saw everybody start moving. Individual said he saw fat people, old people. Everybody started moving, running as fast as they possibly could. He described what he saw was a opaque, gaseous form of a figure that was moving towards people going in and out of like phasing in and out of reality as it moved towards people. And he saw cops shooting at it. He then decided that he should run. This is the individual right here. If you're watching on the, uh, on the YouTube channel, he then decided to run obviously. And uh, I guess they made it out unscathed. Most people did. I don't know if there was any, anybody that lost their life, but the fact of the matter is, is that whatever the story may be, whether he's being uh, genuine or not, there was a lot of cops there. There is some footage of a gaseous form, but it's obviously from a cell phone from a far distance, so it's hard to really tell. We don't know what happened was what yeah. it comes down to. Speculation. It. I saw a thing online where it said that they were like checking people's phones before they left the mall. They wouldn't yeah. let anybody leave. Yeah. Make sure they didn't have any pictures of anything. Yeah. Yeah. They said it was like like a six to seven foot tall grayish thing and yep. the heads could spin all the way around on the body like, okay. and whatever. And I was like, but it, it's obviously take it all with a grain of salt because whatever. Exactly. But that's a, all I know is that's a shitload of cops for a fight. And the, the most important thing to know is that they aren't saying what happened. Miami police is not saying what happened, but yet it, it needed a response of the magnitude that we've never seen. I've Usually never that's seen. Like, I've never seen that many cops. That, that's like a coming. terrorist school, attack. School, school amount shootings, shootings don't get that kind of right. Cop that's response. a terrorist attack amount of cops right there. Like if like if there was like a building that blew up, that's how many cops would show up. Yeah. 
That's like the entire Miami police force. The Bayside Mall. I saw the uh, picture in the in there. Was apparently what that is. But that I still have a hard time thinking. Yeah, like, okay. Like it seems convenient they were checking phones. If people were running out of that mall, like we just saw, they weren't checking phones. And there's no way that many young mall people were not filming everything in today's society. So I have a real question, but like, yeah, because I mean, you see people getting murdered in a street fight, recording them, and they're not stopping. Yeah, people they don't didn't, stop they, recording they, for anything now. Yeah, but, they're, yeah, like the people are getting shot at, and they're just like standing there recording with their phone. Yeah, yeah I feel I, you. I saw, yeah, I saw a video the other day from Chicago of like people just they were just f looking around at everybody shooting guns off into the air, like which is one of the oh, dangerous things you can do. That's yeah, super yeah, yeah. safe. They're just know? doing it, and I'm like, and they didn't stop filming for that, and like across the street, like me to that door okay like that close it wasn't like this was coming from a distance people were just filming so i don't believe that people would stop filming so i will say is that this individual does bring that up he says is why wasn't there any footage of it why did nobody like take their phone out he said that the type of fear that these people were feeling was similar to the type of fear that people would fear feel in like war and it's like, how many times do you see like people in war where they're showing like they're in fear for their life? The first thing they're not doing is, is thinking about pulling out their camera. They're thinking about self-preservation. And he says is that that was his intent to save himself and his family at the time. He had no intention on trying to blow up on TikTok in that moment because he was genuinely in fear for his life. Now, like I said, I don't know how true that is, but I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to defend the devil here a little bit. I guess what my real question is, is do you, Mr. X, do you believe in this type of phenomenon? Are you a, are you a, a, a UFO, UAP um, enthusiast? Are you familiar with any of the information that's been coming out lately, the congressional hearings in this country and in others? How do you feel about the whole subject? You know, we, we talked about this, I think, the last time I was here yeah, was yeah. some UFO stuff. Yeah. Was, was, He's just know. trying to get you to love them. I know. And I just, man, like, maybe. but <laughs> I, Man, like, maybe. But, okay. you know, I'm not. Where, where, why do you sit on the fence? What do you think it is? Because I've seen nothing, nothing. I mean, like, dudes with a camera phone talking about how crazy things are, like, you and me could sit up here and come up with some crazy shit in about okay. two minutes, right? Would you call yourself agnostic? Like, if there was proof, you would believe, but you don't not believe, but you would believe if there was I, yeah, truth? Yeah, I'm not, like, anti. Like, I think it's probably... Yeah, that, that's where I land. It's more, like, agnostic. Like, if, if someone was like, hey, look at this, I'd be like, oh, shit. Yeah, I, I think a majority of what you see out there is 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 probably explainable. And I think I see a lot, I see a lot of stuff like we're like, look at this, and it's like some grainy footage. And it, if you, uh, it's case in point, yeah, crazy in point. Here, here, here's this. Here. We got four. Okay, so that's supposed to be the thing. Is that yeah, what we're we looking got 4K at? Four K recordings on our phone, and this is what we get. Yeah, 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 like that right. Like I can see. Like what am I looking at here? You can't. Like you can't that tell. right there looks like a weird shadow. It does. Like, but, but it's kind of got a shape of a of a something. I mean, but you can't deny there was like a hundred cops. Oh, I can't deny the hundred cops. Like cops. that is weird. I'm not gonna lie. And and but yeah, if somebody called and said there's been shots fired at a mall, which I don't know if y'all have noticed, that keeps happening. Yeah, and, and we know. are talking about Florida, and it's Florida. Yeah. So we're talking about a red state. They want to handle shut that shit down immediately. Yeah, and and, and they they believe you. When oh, you I just say thought because everything so, crazy happens in Florida. So okay, I, I mean, I just want to hit that with the caveat of okay, so if that did happen. And there was a response by them of this magnitude. Why can't they just be honest about it and just say that's what happened? And we stopped it. No life lost because there was no life lost. That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't, have you seen any have you seen any footage of them of the police department talking about this? Uh, I have not seen any. Okay. I will I will do more research on it. This kind of just happened like today. So we're just kind of trying to get the story out, but we will see if there's more development in it. Maybe there is more explanation. And you're, you're, and you're absolutely right. The lack of evidence is not necessarily the evidence of absence. So we'll have to see what uh what what transpires from here on out. Yeah, I mean, I'm down to see what else happens. But like, it's weird that that many cops show up and they don't make a statement. But I'm telling you right now yeah. is that when our alien overlords get here, okay, or our time-traveling forefathers get here, 
I'm on their side. Show up? I'm on their side and fuck all of you. Okay. Wow, you're gonna sell me into slavery, the aliens? I don't. I don't know what they plan on doing with you. I'm let, concerned about what they plan on. Let doing Let me ask with you me. one more question about this. Go ahead. All right. So let's Keep say. Going. Let's say these are aliens, right? Let's say these 100 percent are aliens. Were they just hitting up journeys real quick? Why are they at the mall? Like, why is that where the aliens landed? Was at the Bayside Mall in Miami? You're like, they were looking well, for Saved by the Bell. They were looking for Zach Morris. Yeah, maybe that. Mm. Like, were they like that? Like, why were they? What, what were they doing? Were they hitting up J.C. Penny to return something? That's, like, what, what was where, going on? That's where we keep our ore calcum okay. deposits. Okay, we got some loafers. <laughs> you never know. I don't know, man. We can't tell. Look, the the fact of the matter is, we don't know what's going on in this country. Nope. We don't know what's going on in this universe. We don't know what's really going on in our lifetime. Everything that we see is fed to us for sure. a reason. So why is this being fed to us? And the other side of that coin is why? there may not be a damn thing going on and we're all creative people going crazy about it. So yeah. That, there's that too. So I don't know. I'm not, don't I don't know. Tell us, man. We're going to make up some crazy shit. You're that's not right. wrong. You're that's not right. Wrong. That's right. Yep. So anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to crazytown.com and subscribe. For Jonas, TNT, and Mr. X. Uh, we're out.